It's Mr Hegarty here. This is a message for all GCSE students. They're working really hard for Monday. This is a quick message to say work hard this weekend and give you a few tips of things you can do this weekend. Let's start with the most obvious thing. Right. A lot of you found Thursday difficult. It was a tricky paper in places, all right? And it was really funny what you guys did on Twitter and uh, all the jokes and the memes, etc. But... If you're feeling upset after that exam, as I know some of you are, my own class, a lot of them are, you can't let that beat you up too much and you can't let that overwhelm you. They always say, don't worry about the past. You can only change the future. So your focus should be Monday, right? Get all that negativity out of you. You can't change it now. You can smash Monday if you try really hard this weekend and work really hard this weekend. You will be surprised if the paper is as hard as we think it is. Grade boundaries could, I don't know, I'm not the examiner, but they could go down. And you mightn't worry at all. I remember when I was going to school, I had a couple of absolute shocker exams and in the end it turned out all right. So what's the point in worrying? It's not going to change anything. You can only change the future. Put everything you have got into Monday, all right? So that's my biggest, biggest advice. Let's put Hannah and her sweets at the back of our mind and let's focus on us and our futures. Right, next thing is just a, a, another message. Where there's life, there's hope, right? There's still a chance for you to get whatever grade you're looking for. It doesn't matter what you got on the first paper. Imagine you got zero, right? Imagine you got zero in the first paper and you think, that right, that's it, game over. You could still get a really good mark on the second paper and overall get a grade B even, or maybe even a grade, a grade C, even if you've got zero in the first paper. And you don't know the grade boundaries, they may be lower than you anticipate. So there's always a chance. And whenever there's a chance, you've got to battle and battle and battle and keep going. Never give up. That's a sign of someone with true character. When you get a bit beaten up and knocked down, you get back up and you try hard. That's, that's it. So you've all got to have that attitude this weekend. Now, my advice, some of you might be aghast by this, but it's your GCSE. I'm thinking minimum six hours a day, Saturday and Sunday. That's what I'm thinking. Especially for those who haven't, or who aren't, you know, as well prepared as they would like to be for the exam on Monday. You've got to make a bit of a sacrifice. No pain, no gain. You've got to work hard if you want, uh, you know, the good outcome. Now, I know the weather's lovely. I'm looking outside right now and I'm thinking... Why am I recording a video when the weather's lovely outside? It could be, I don't know what the weather's going to be like this weekend. If it's like this, you'll be tempted to go out, play a bit of footy, you know, read a book outside. You can't, not this weekend. After your GCSEs are over, you can do whatever you want and it will be the best summer ever. So no pain, no gain. Now, I've got a bit of good advice for you here. Um, a great, great friend of mine, great teacher friend of mine, Mr. Ladakh, and I'm giving a shout out to Mr. Ladakh and his 11N2 class. He's made an awesome list of topics um, that didn't come up on the first paper that would be a good place to start. Now, there's no guarantee these are coming up. Absolutely no guarantee these are coming up. But it's a good place to, to, to get going and doing some revision. And he's also got a list of all possible topics. So let me show you where that is. There's going to be a link at the bottom of this video that you can click. When you click that link, you are going to get yourself to this page here, right? When you do, he's got a, a link here that you click there. Now that downloads for you an Excel sheet, right? And on the Excel sheet here, it gives you a list of, it looks like, let me just highlight it here. It gives you a list of 31 topics that didn't come up in the last paper that, you know, may or may not come up. This is really important. Don't think these are coming up. Me or Mr. Malak, we don't let that, don't know what's coming up. They're just possibilities. Now, this sheet's really cool. Let me show you why. Firstly, anything you click on there, say trial and improvement, let's click the first one. Gives you a set of questions on trial and improvement to work through. How do you know you got them right? Well, let's go back to our sheet. And we've got answers. We click answers and we could do all those questions and just wait for that to download. And helpfully, we have got all the answers there. So you could work through those and mark your work. Remember what I told you in previous videos. Do not do anything unless you mark your work. I'd rather you, I'd rather you sunbathe all weekend than do work and not mark it. If you're gonna do anything, you must mark it. So this is why this is a good source of revision for you. Next thing, say you don't understand that topic at all. There's a video, and a lot of them are by me there, Mr. Ladax used a lot of my videos in there. You click that, we just gotta wait a second while the thing loads up. 
And there you go. Hi there, it's Mr. Hegarty here, and Ooh. welcome to the Sound of My Own Voice. It's taking you to a video off my website, just teaching that topic, not linked to those questions, just teaching that, that topic in general. And you can even, you can download this sheet, and you can use it and tick off that when you go through it. And if you did all those 31, that would be a good place to start, but that's not enough. Having done that, you can go to all topics here, and then you can focus on the things you... Um, you know, say if you're going for grade A star, these are the ones you should focus on. Say if you're a C candidate, these are the ones you should be focusing on. A C, D, borderline, C and D, etc. So that little spreadsheet there could be really useful to you in your vision. So I thought I would show that to you. All right. So going back here, have a good weekend. Work really, really hard. And there's a great little bit of resource there from Mr. Ladakh. Um, wonderful teacher for 11N2, shouting out to them, and I hope that helps you a lot. Now, just to finish with, I know a lot of you have um, heard about the Pitch to Rich stuff. Please, 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 there'll be a link at the bottom. Spend a second this weekend to vote and get your, um, you know, get your adult um, family to vote because there's a 10 grand potential cash prize for, from Richard Branson in there. So do spare a second to do that if you possibly can. Put Thursday out of your head, focus on Monday, work hard this weekend, and I've given you a good place to go to maybe uh, focus you. Best of luck, guys. Wishing you all the best. Wishing you strength. Take care, Mr. H.